Yo, what's good everyone? DB Zoom back at you with a brand new video. And guys, it looks like the Dragon Ball Legends app store did it again. It leaked yet another character. This this marks the third time the Dragon Ball Legends app store leaks characters. So the first time ever was of course for the Legends Festival, like about two years ago for UI Goku. And then once again for MUI Goku, uh, you know, for you know, obviously the fourth anniversary. And now it looks like we're gonna get a Majin Vegeta. And in specific, a free-to-play Majin Vegeta. If you guys have an iPhone, you guys can go to your Dragon Ball Legends and check this out for yourself. It's 100% legit. Now, it does say here, special event, fierce fight, Majin Vegeta, fourth anniversary, second half, get Majin Vegeta. Now, this says absolutely everything. Um, it's a free-to-play character obviously and this most likely 100% or 99.9% .9 is going to be buffing Majin Buu Saga like I predicted if you guys haven't watched my previous video before this one go check it out I'll go over details once again in this video but you know I when, when I see Majin Vegeta, I think about obviously Majin Buu Saga. I also do think about, uh, you know, obviously Vegeta Klein, but there's not much else to think about with Majin Vegeta here. Um, I, I, I want to say powerful opponent, but he's, I don't think he's really a powerful opponent at this time. Perhaps he is, to be honest, when he fought Goku, but when he fought Majin Buu, probably not. Um, but yeah, let, let, let's just talk about this, guys, because we are going to be getting a reveals and stuff. Um, you know, on the 12th. So exactly next, you know, Tuesday, uh, we are 100% going to guarantee the character. Now, we all are predicting an Ultra unit. I do think it's going to be an Ultra unit Super Vegito. Um, you know, I've been saying this for quite a while now. Uh, there's heavy rumors floating around as well with some trusted sources, quote unquote trusted sources. Um, and I I'm very excited, guys, because I think this banner is going to be a slightly different. And I do think we might also be getting a Buhan alongside a Super Vegito. And reason being why is because we did just get a buff um, in region, obviously, with the green uh, Piccolo. And they will not bring out, you know, Zenkai buffs without buffing that specific tag. So we can 100% expect a region buff in the very near future. As well as if we just take a very quick look at this image here. It says reviews and stuff, special edition part three, you know, obviously on 712. If you take a look at the background now this might be reaching, but this is the exact same place where Super Vegito fought Buhan. Um, it might be a little bit iffy on your screen. If you guys want to go check out these images for yourself, by all means, go follow me over on Twitter. And uh, yeah, there's no camera for this video. I'll probably bring it back tonight because tonight I'm going to be coming out with more leaks because tonight we're going to get another update um, in just about, I would say, seven hours from now. So around 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Pacific time. Now, you know, yeah, th th this pretty much solidifies you know, uh, Majin Buu Saga. And, and, you know, before we even get to that, I just want to... Quickly, since we're talking about leaks here, quickly just mention this, that, um, you know, the Dragon Ball Super anime is returning, guys. Um, it looks like uh, from DBS over on, uh, Chronicles over on Twitter, uh, he says that one weekly um, Dragon Ball episodes will be set after the Universal Saga are in production. Anime will be back on 2023. Also, new DB movie after the superhero uh, movie is currently in pre-production. Toei is planning to release movies once in two every two three years. So this is not only from him but other trusted sources as well. So very ecstatic for that. Now back to business because at the end of the day we're talking about Dragon Ball Legends. So uh, Majin Buu Saga has only two specific characters here that actually buffs the Majin Buu Saga uh, tag. You know, uh, which is going to be yellow and purple. I mean now yellow and purple, yellow and blue. Now I, I wouldn't really. Um, take a look at this too too much to be honest with you guys I wouldn't really focus on this because all these can be overshadowed we can still get a blue or a, uh, a yellow character uh, in replacement now we're gonna be taking a look at two specific um, you know uh, tags here which is gonna be fusion warrior as well as region now for fusion warrior I've gone over this plenty of times but I will go over for my new viewers of course because I, I understand we always have new viewers here and by the way if you guys are new and if you guys enjoying the content make sure you guys simply like the video subscribe if you guys haven't already because why not it's for free we're almost up to 100,000 subscribers we're about to cross over 90,000 very shortly so that's you know it's a blessing so yeah guys you know I do not think Super Vegito if he comes uh, he's going to be blue because obviously we have Super Gogeta uh, which is blue and by the way I, I keep saying this I just don't get why Dragon Ball Legends would bring another fusion warrior um, I, I'm not against it I just don't get why is what I'm trying to say right <laughs> like I just said 
Um, I don't think he's going to be green as well because Super Saiyan 4, uh, Gogeta is obviously still a powerhouse. Um, very, very good uh, top 5, top 10, whatever you guys want to call it, uh, unit. After that, I don't think it's going to be purple because we do currently have a Zenkai Super Vegito that could definitely hold his own. Um, and as well as blue, we have two blues here as well. Um, I, I think the only two colors up for debate and grabs here is going to be yellow and red. Now, yellow does have some pretty solid characters on their own with Maj Oob, obviously. And, you know, a lot of people still do like this uh, Gogeta blue, which could definitely, you know, he can definitely have his own unique equipment and it will definitely push him to the top 10 uh, 100%. He does have a really good green card if you guys know how to use it. Now, as for red... You know, Super Gogeta Zenkai is still very worthy, but at, at this point in time, he's a very old Zenkai, and he's he's replaceable is what I'm trying to say. He's pretty good. He can output a lot of damage if he's string good enough combos, uh, but he's definitely replaceable alongside yellow. So I would say either yellow or red. Now, I'm leaning a little bit more towards red, and he, if he is red, that's going to be a lot of powerhouse reds, guys. Uh, we would obviously have Android 17 and 18, that's red, MEY Goku, that's red, as well as a Ocha Super Vegito, that's red. So that's just something to quickly note. Now, if we're going to talk about Ocha units, since we're still on the subject, uh, we only have two summonable Ocha units, which is going to be uh, blue and yellow, obviously, in Super Saiyan Blue, Kaka and Goku, and Ocha uh, Gogeta here. Now, um, other than that, we do not have a green um, Ocha unit. That's just something to know. I don't think that really matters with anything. But that is just something to know. Um, as for regen, because I do believe they are going to be pushing uh, regen buffs. Because obviously we did just get this uh, green Piccolo Zenkai. Now, I really hope Buhan is not green if we do get a Buhan. Reason being why is because I, I do still like this Majin Buu uh, Zenkai. Um, and he the only issue I had with this character here, and I do have a showcase for him that I had to push back because of today had a whole bunch of random leaks, so I did have to push back. I'll probably push that back for later this week, but uh, he did get a buff because obviously uh, Zenkai Piccolo buffs him, and he buffs himself, so he has probably one of the mo most broken kits in the game. He locks your opponent in, he locks in the strike cards, like Ultra, Super Saiyan, Blue Kao, Ken, Goku, um, as well as heals, tanks, heals his opponents, uh, I mean, not his opponents, <laughs> he's his opponents, uh, heals his team, so um, yeah, you know, I think the biggest gap here would be red, now, that would mean red, red, or yellow, red, right? So, um, for Fusion Warrior and, um, and Regen as well. So, red, I think there's a gap for sure. Uh, th there's a full gap in this team if we just break it down. Purple is actually pretty good because we got Perfect Cell. He did just get his unique equipment not too long ago. So, he could definitely hold his own. As far as Kid Buu goes, he's pretty good. But if he does get his unique equipment, he's going to get the LF Cell treatment. So, he still has potential. All you have to do is just bring out that one unique equipment for that specific character. Now, uh, red we already talked about, which does have a hole, right? Um, the latest character that we got was this fused with nail Piccolo. After then, after that, just, there's just a mega mega drop off. Um, as for yellow, yellow's actually really really good as well because they got this yellow uh, Zenkai Demon King Piccolo, which I absolutely love, as well as this uh, yellow um, you know transforming Piccolo. So LF Piccolo. Um, so yeah, guys, you know, let me know what you guys think about all this. Uh, obviously, Vegeta Clan would also get a buff with that Maja Vegeta. He, he is coming around. So, um, yeah, it, there's not really much to think about here. But I am excited for free-to-play characters because uh, we all know how good the uh, the free-to-play uh, purple Super Saiyan Gogeta was. So, very excited uh, to see what, that's, uh, what this Maja Vegeta is going to have in store for us, guys. But I am going to push this video out. I do want to go back to sleep because I was having an immaculate sleep. If you guys didn't know, I had an absolutely terrible sleep last night. So I'm sleeping here in the afternoon a little bit to catch up on my sleep. I feel like I'm beer sometimes. I really, really do. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll definitely catch you guys once again in about seven hours from now. Uh, so make sure you guys subscribe, turn on those notifications. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See you.